Here we have a total cost function and notice that it's increasing as output increases and I've just chosen a particular point A. At point A we could draw a line tangent to the total cost function to find the slope of that cost function at point A. All right, so here's my tangent line and let's suppose that line has a slope of 10. The slope would be one point on the marginal cost curve. We're going to call that A prime. So if I took it down to my second grid and found the $10, that would be one point on my marginal cost curve. If I started at the origin and drew a ray to point A, the slope of that ray is going to be a point on the average cost curve. We're going to call that A prime. And let's suppose this line has a slope of 30. All right, it's steeper than our initial one. So I take it down to my bottom grid, I plot 30, and that's A prime. So average cost, as we know, is found by taking total cost divided by output. And previously here we said, well, it can also be the slope of the ray between the origin and the particular point we're looking for. Well, here's how that works. The slope of the ray is rise over run, right? So the rise here is going to be whatever the total cost is at point A. Right? I could read that off the vertical axis here. And the run is whatever the output is at point A. Right? So that's how we get the slope of the ray is the same thing as average cost at that particular point. Now, if you had a total cost function, its slope is found by taking the first derivative. So total cost is a function of output. The slope of total cost would be the partial derivative of total cost with respect to output. Another name for this is the marginal cost function.